Handle it. This guy. Dory Torios. <laughs> Underwhelming. You got some in your beer. Pretty high. <laughs> Fuck me. How is that even possible? There's no opening. How did that happen? This thing is sealed still and I got a chip in my beard. Anyways, pause your screen, go get your tools, ingredients, check out the steps. We're gonna make Doritorios. Doritorio. First things first, you grab your Doritos, you throw them in the blender and you wanna make a nice fine Dorito blender. Let's see if I remember how to use this thing. You grab your top of the blender and you put it on here. I think it closes somehow. Maybe you put it on this side and it closes. Fuck me. <sighs> All right, am I going home yet? The fuck is this about? When was the last time you used a blender, let me know? Like a week ago? About a week ago. Back. I'm coming back for round two. Oh, hold on. Now it's gonna work. That's what it was. I forgot about that. Part. You put your blender top on your blender top, like that. You put your other blender top over there, and you press the button. It's pretty straightforward. So you take your dry ingredients. You got flour. You got salt. You got baking powder. And you add them. If you're anything like me, you're kind of a prima donna, and you let fame get to your head, and you don't use your hands as much as you used to. So. You just, you mix this all up together. Give it a nice stir stir, as uh, Prince Wakba would say. You double stir. I'm using this whole kitchen today. You're gonna see the whole thing. I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna talk at the same time. I got all my, uh, my functions. Okay, that's sugar. This, if you don't have one of these, you don't need it. You could use your hands. But uh, this is to butter. And this, this is our good friend, Butter. You know him, you've seen him. This is what made your aunt die. Whoa, <laughs> that went somewhere. Crack your egg in the bowl. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not good at this. I'm really not good at this. this is your I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't condone any of that. But if you th thought, yeah. Okay. You put your sugar with the egg. Sounds like a nursery rhyme. Put the sugar with the egg, and you beat the out of your butter. This is just stupid. I mean, this is a stupid thing. This is actually stupid. You could just get a spoon or a book and you could do the same thing with this. Okay. Sugar, butter, egg. This is uh, cholesterol city. We sell cholesterol and that's all. Sometimes you gotta get dirty, folks. This is the portion of the episode where you have no choice but to filth yourself. You take this gunk and you mix it with this gunk. Or should I say your butter sugar mixture and you put it in there. Get it all. And now you start doing this. What this does is it brings everybody together. Anytime your fingers are making this movement, everybody's coming together. This is your dough. You gotta lay this shit out flat. So you take it, put a little bit of flour down. You don't want it to stick, right? You do your best to flatten it out. What this is doing is it's flattening it. Getting tired, getting tired. All right, as a uh, former professional drinker, I'm gonna choose the Canadian club for this mission. Uh, if you can't get this, uh, you're not really missing that much, I promise. Here we go, and you roll it out. What this is doing is it's rolling it out. You get your bottle nice and greasy so that when the next person goes to grab it, it just slips right out of their hands. You put it right back where you found it. You don't tell anyone. They get a dirty, cheesy Dorito bottle later on in life and you, you, you do that. Okay. And look, look what we did. Wow. Wow. Okay. <coughs> Cameraman coughs. And this, you throw in the fridge about 15 minutes. You want to let it solidify. You want to let it, oh, sh you're not supposed to see that. Okay. That was, that's not there. Bye. Okay. Next. And we're back to the cooking show. You guys know this. This is how I made my millions of dollars. You take it and you cut it into bits. This is like uh, nothing. <laughs> it's the only thing that's like this. It's just gonna be amazing your whole life. Bacon into bits. You take your bacon, it's chopped up kind of poorly. Try not to spit while you're talking. 
and you take your bacon. Pan's not hot enough, but we're gonna put it on there anyways because I don't give a <laughs> You wanna brighten up? You're good. Okay, you take your bacon and shh, listen to it go. Shh, it's sizzling so much right now. Shh. Okay, you move it around, you keep moving it, and this is how you make bacon good. Next, next, next. You take your milk, you just, you take your milk and you put it in. You put about a cup of milk in there. Uh, it's about a cup, about a cup. You want it to start bubbling a little bit. Once it starts bubbling, you're gonna start throwing your cheese inside. Get ready, it's gonna be fun. Here we go. Right? I don't need to talk. You know what I'm doing. Putting cheese in a pot. It's not a hard one. I was just informed you put all of it in, so. You, you do all of it now. Here you go. Look at that. Oh, we're making a mess. There you go. And you wait on that. You never do this if you're kosher. This is picking up like, there's just, there's rabbis everywhere around the world that are just barfing right now. You take this. It's hot, so be careful. Here you go, here you go. Look at that. Oh, that beautiful ooze of cheese. Isn't that delicious? How happy are you that you're doing this right now? How good is your life that you get that? That's amazing. I don't care what you think. You take this and you put it, it's hot. It's f***ing hot. You put it in the fridge. You don't, you don't show the one that we already made because that's not important, but you put it in the fridge and you let it cool down for about a half an hour. Your cookies are back. Look, these are gonna be cookies real soon. Uh, right now it's just dough. So you take your cookie cutter. If you don't have a cookie cutter, just find something that looks like this and you push down and you make a, a thing. And you push down, you make another one, and you keep doing this until there's no more room anywhere. Just don't, okay? Just, just don't. It's words to live by. Now, the real magic. You take these, you put them down. You put them in your oven, 325 for about half an hour. Okay, so if you see, this happened. We weren't expecting this, but it became like a, a plate of bottom dough. What you wanna do is you wanna let it cool for about 15 minutes, let it just calm the f down, grab this, and then re reapply, okay? Not hard, it happens. And now, grab your cheese, do the same thing. We have gotta fill these bitches, and we did it. I'm proud of you, proud of myself. Good job, I got a plane to catch, can't stick around. We had a great time today. I'm let me know, like, favorite, share, subscribe, like all the videos that we make, cause they're great, and you guys can be great too one day. Goodbye.